Hello, N5BSB here with a final update on the uh, FT891HF portable box. And I will have a list of all the items that I used with the exception of some hardware like zip ties and screws and things like that. As you know, this uh, features the, F the Yezu FT891. Uh, the head is mounted uh, with a bracket, and I'll put a link to that in the description below. Big shout out to, I think his name is Jonathan. Uh, he really helped me out on that. The bracket got held up in USPS, the Postal Service, for almost two or three weeks and he sent me another one out and I do have another one if anybody's interested in it it'll be free of charge all you have to do is pay for shipping and we got the digi rig for the digital modes onboard GPS the power distribution block I elected to go with this type over the Anderson power pole like I had on the previous box that I had mainly being while the Anderson power poles are nice uh, in this type of configuration I don't plan on taking anything out so pretty much everything will be in there if I do need to take the radio out I have a separate power cord same thing for the tuner so I bought separate power cords, so the factory one's still in the box. Um, you can see over here, this is a distribution block, just a two pole for the ground. And that's what I'm using for the switch, uh, switching the ground versus the positive. That way down here in this corner, which is kind of hard to see, but the switch is down underneath here. And if a screwdriver or something metal was to fall down in there, um, you know, it wouldn't short out. Um, there's all the connections for the radio, um, the harness for the batteries, the uh, USB 3.0 hub, and down in, this is the tuner. ATU-130 tuner. Uh, they say it's good for 200 watts. Uh, I've, I've run no problems running um, 100 watts. Uh, I've ran 50, 60 watts digital. Never had any issue with it. On this side, these are the vents. Uh, they go directly into the front part of the main body of the radio there's two fans in there they suck the air through and blow it out the back side this is the USB cable going over here to the this is a Windows uh, tablet I think it's from DT research model DT 315 I believe mine is a 128 gigabyte version uh, I did not see one like that on eBay. I posted a link to the one that they have, which is, I think, a 64. Uh, over here, we have the um, it's, uh, 65 watt. It's, it says it's 85 watt. I'm assuming that means the USB-C and USB. I mean, let me get my hand out of the way here. I'll turn it on. And... There's a switch over here where you can turn it off if you want to leave the power on, but the uh, you don't want that that light shining in your eye. And around on this side, there's um, a dual pair of Anderson power poles on this side, which I use to power the tablet or whatever else. And it's fused. And then the other side, the white one, I purposely went with the white. Uh, that is for charging. So you can use it for charging with a solar panel. 
or just your regular charger and then the um, your uh, SO239 for your antenna out right there uh, let me see if I can get down here I'll try to see if I can get a this is the charger that I use just a standard 4 amp LiPo 4 charger and that's pretty much about it um, it's all put together um, the uh, the case closes very you know it doesn't hit anything I have a piece of foam up there I can lay down inside the top here my keyboard will fit in here I've got a little extra cable here for a phone charger um, and a little cable to charge the keyboard all that all that kind of stuff fits down in this little uh, area down in here so that's about all I have uh, hope you enjoyed this build if you have any questions let me know and 73 and 5 BSB